Rococo or late Baroque, is an exceptionally ornamental and theatrical style of architecture, art and decoration which combines asymmetry, scrolling curves, gilding, white and pastel colors, sculpted molding, and trompe l'oeil frescoes to create surprise in the illusion of motion and drama. It is often described as the final expression of the Baroque movement. The Rococo style began in France in the 1730s as a reaction against the more formal and geometric Louis XIV style. It was known as the style Rocaille, or Rocaille style. Elements of the Rocaille style appeared in the work of some French painters, including a taste for the picturesque in details, curves and counter-curves, and dissymmetry which replaced the movement of the Baroque with exuberance, though the French rocaille never reached the extravagance of the Germanic rococo. It soon spread to other parts of Europe, particularly northern Italy, Austria, southern Germany, central Europe, and Russia. It also came to influence the other arts, particularly sculpture, furniture, silverware, glassware, painting, music, and theater. Although originally a secular style primarily used for interiors of private residences, the Rococo had a spiritual aspect to it which led to its widespread use in church interiors, particularly in Central Europe, Portugal, and South America. Rokai was originally a method of decoration, using pebbles, seashells and cement, which was often used to decorate grottos and fountains since the Renaissance. In 1736 the designer and jeweler Jean Mondin published the premier livre de Fermi Roquail et Cartel, a collection of designs for ornaments of furniture and interior decoration. It was the first appearance in print of the term rokai to designate the style. The carved or molded seashell motif was combined with palm leaves or twisting vines to decorate doorways, furniture, wall panels, and other architectural elements. The term Rococo was first used in print in 1825 to describe decoration which was out of style and old-fashioned. It was used in 1828 for decoration which belonged to the style of the 18th century, overloaded with twisting ornaments. In 1829 the author Stendhal described Rococo as the Rokai style of the 18th century. The partial abandonment of symmetry, everything being composed of graceful lines and curves, similar to Art Nouveau. The style often integrated painting, molded stucco, and wood carving, and quadratura, or illusionist ceiling paintings, which were designed to give the impression that those entering the room were looking up at the sky, where cherubs and other figures were gazing down at them. Artists in Italy, particularly Venice, 
also produced an exuberant Rococo style. Venetian commodes imitated the curving lines and carved ornament of the French rocaille, but with a particular Venetian variation, the pieces were painted, often with landscapes or flowers or scenes from Guardi or other painters, or chinoiserie, against a blue or green background, matching the colors of the Venetian school of painters whose work decorated the salons. Notable decorative painters included Giovanni Battista Tiepolo, who painted ceilings and murals of both churches and palazzos, and Giovanni Battista Crosato, who painted the ballroom ceiling of the C.A. Resinico in the Quadraturo manner, giving the illusion of three dimensions. German architects adapted the Rococo style but made it far more asymmetric and loaded with more ornate decoration than the French original. In Great Britain, Rococo was called the French taste and had less influence on design and the decorative arts than in continental Europe, although its influence was felt in such areas as silverwork, porcelain, and silks. Though not mentioning Rococo by name, he argued in his Analysis of Beauty, 1753, that the undulating lines and S-curves prominent in Rococo were the basis for grace and beauty in art or nature, unlike the straight line or the circle in Classicism. The art of Boucher and other painters of the period, with its emphasis on decorative mythology and gallantry, soon inspired a reaction and a demand for more noble themes. While the Rococo continued in Germany and Austria, the French Academy in Rome began to teach the classic style.